Hi everyone. Uh, I wanted to go over a hand, a really fun hand that I played in a speedball uh, about a month ago, two months ago, uh, where it looks like there's uh, nothing really to the hand, and 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 you're you're going to take a certain number of tricks, and and I want to take you through how I managed to find a trick out of thin air. Uh, it, it all started by me opening a spade. Uh, my left hand opponent overcalled two diamonds and my partner raised to two spades. My right hand opponent raised to three diamonds and I have, uh, you know, a, a pretty good 15 count, seven card suit. We have a 10 card fit. I, I, I don't beat around the bush. I just jump straight to four spades. I know that I can see that I have about four or five losers, but my partner showed six to nine points. We're, 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 if my partner just has the ace of spades, we're going to make a game. We're just going to lose two diamonds and a heart. So four points. I don't need to invite my partner. I'll just go straight there and, and hope for the best. And maybe we'll go down, but uh, usually when you have the seven card suit and your partner raises you, you're usually going to go to game in this spot, uh, even with even a slightly worse hand. So it goes all pass, and the opponents lead the suit that they've been in raised, the five of diamonds, and dummy comes down. And when dummy comes down, I'm already pretty confident I'm going to make it. Uh, at first glance, we're not going to lose any, any clubs. We have ten spades, so the opponents only have three of them, so the ace-king should probably... Uh, get get rid of the, the if they're split 2-1 then the ace king are going to drop the all of the opponent's spades uh so we probably have a heart loser and a diamond loser uh and it looks like that's pretty much it like it doesn't look like there's anything we can do about it so when i once i've identified my two losers i'm looking for any possible way that i might be able to make an extra trick on this hand there's two things that came to mind for me uh the first one is maybe if if at some point if I play ace king of clubs and if east or west has queen jack third of clubs then the ace king will drop the jack and then maybe I'll be able to go over to dummy and rough a club and maybe the queen of clubs will pop up and I'll be able to use the ten of clubs to throw a loser. So that was one possible possible way I might get rid of a loser. Another one was maybe in a dream world somebody has king queen jack third of diamonds then I could let them win a diamond and then I, with the jack my ace will drop their king and I can rough a diamond uh, with the queen, rough out the queen of diamonds, uh, and and the ten of diamonds will be good. That one looks a little less like likely. What, one thing immediately at the, that you notice is in the bidding, something weird is going on. That we have six diamonds between us, and our opponents have overcalled two diamonds and raised to three diamonds. So I know somebody's done something weird. Either East has raised with a doubleton diamond, or West has overcalled a four card suit at the two level. Which I don't think that they've overcalled a four card suit at the two level. I would think it's more likely East has raised with raised with a doubleton. Anyway, uh, usually on these hands, um, I, there's no way that I'm going to get rid of both my diamond loser and my heart loser. And so often, there, if you if you just leave it so that you only have one loser out, sometimes a squeeze can materialize. And squeezes, uh, obviously, you can't. I can't teach it in a five five or seven minute video, but you can watch how this hand played out and how ducking this diamond at trick one really made a huge difference uh, on this hand. So I I played low, and my right hand opponent won the queen of diamonds, and and. West must have been like, or whoever whoever had the, the their normal had their their expected number of diamonds must have been like, what is going on here? They must have thought that I had a singleton and that I let them let them win tricks. So they, but uh, they shouldn't think that. They should trust that I've ducked for a reason, and and so so they they can't really draw too much. They should draw inference that I probably have a doubleton and figure out that their partner was messing around. Anyway, not that that matters on this hand. Uh, they won the queen of diamonds and they played back a club which I won with the ace and saw the jack fall on my left. And I, when I saw the jack, I thought, okay, that's good. That's good. Maybe it's queen jack are falling, and now I can use my ten of clubs to throw away my heart. But first things first, it's time to draw trumps. The fact that the jack of clubs dropped on my left, um, whenever you have this ten card fit, the, missing the queen, I, could, I can play either hand for the queen third of spades if I want to. If I lead the king first and west has three of them, I'm going to see East show out, and I'm going to be able to finesse West for the, the Queen of Spades. Or, if I wanted to play East for Queen Third of Spades, then I could go to Dummy's Ace and play one back. So i got to think through the hand and think, well, who, who's more likely to have a Spade Void? Uh, because most of the time, the Spades are going to break 2-1. It won't matter which honor I cash first. But just in case, I want to cash the Spade honors in the right order. So... 
the right order on this hand uh, was was let's think about that so I think what I think is going on is I think West has got five diamonds that jack of clubs makes it sound, seem like clubs are breaking badly maybe even six six of them on my right so if my, if left hand opponent has a singleton club and only five diamonds they don't have no spades right so so uh, I, I I'm pretty sure that West is the one who's got three spades if they have if somebody does so I I now played the king of spades from my hand and it went small 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 and that that's totally dependent on the hand this time I felt like if somebody was going to be void it was going to be east uh, just because that jack of clubs was a smelly card and they broke 2-1 so it didn't matter but I'm always going through that thought process when I have a 10 card fit missing the queen as long as I have the jack 10 which gives me the the option to finesse in either direction. If I didn't have the 10, I would have only one choice, and that would be to go up with the ace, if you remember that 10-card fit video. All right, so I played the king of spades. I just want to ask you now, before we, I finish playing this hand out, what card do you think is going to take the 12th trick for me? I'm not going to lose another trick from here, but the question is, which card in my hand? And you can stop. It's pretty hard to guess. Uh, so at this point, I finished drawing trumps. And it went queen, ace, and they threw away a club. Now, I played a club back to my hand to see what was happening. Maybe the queen will fall and it'll be the end of the hand, uh, but it didn't. Uh, the queen did not fall in clubs, and I, now I got a lot of information. I know so much about what's going on on this hand. In fact, I have a lot of weird information, because my left-hand opponent had two spades, queen doubleton, and one club. And it seems like they only had five diamonds. So they've done something really weird on this hand by overcalling two diamonds with a five-card heart suit. Right? They're, it sounds like they're two, five, five, one. That's the, their distribution. Anyway, so from here, I actually know I'm going to make the rest of the tricks. Uh, because as long as East has only a doubleton diamond, watch how this hand plays out. I, I, at this point, I, I, I literally could have claimed saying, if you started with five diamonds to my left-hand opponent, I'm going to make the rest of the tricks on this hand. Now watch how it happens. So I'm, I just started cashing my winners. So I cashed the spade, and the opponents throw a club. I cash another spade. Heart. See what I'm, I'm just going to keep cashing my winners. This is how a squeeze works. You you cash all your winners and and hope that you can cause them problems. Okay, now watch what happens when I play this last spade right here. Look at West's hand. West has the king jack of diamonds and the king doubleton heart. Well, we can see that if they throw the jack of diamonds. That's going to be the end of the hand. I'm going to take the ace, ten of diamonds, and throw away my two hearts. So West must throw away the nine of hearts. And I'm going to close up their hand again. And now that they haven't thrown away a diamond, I know my ten of diamonds is not good. So I threw away the ten of diamonds. And East, let's take a look at their hand, also threw away a diamond. And now here is where, where the hand finishes. This, I finish the squeeze off. And I'm going to play the diamond to the dummy's ace. And now look at what East has to do. East has to keep that queen of clubs. Or else the ten of clubs will be good. So East also had to pitch away their heart guard. And so now I got to go heart to the ace. And the two of hearts was good. Oops, I can show you the other rest of the hand. And that was the hand. So let me let me just bring us back and take a look Um uh, you can see here what happened just by looking at the play. We, we, we ducked the diamond. That's called rectifying the count, a complicated concept. And honestly, uh, this is more of a fun story than something I would expect people to be able to do at the table. Uh, but in general, to, to get a squeeze to operate, you, you're going to need to duck. You, you often need to duck so you only end up with one loser because the squeeze happened at the end because there, there weren't enough cards left in the hand. First, West had to throw away their hearts. Uh, in order to protect the diamonds, and then East had to throw away their hearts to protect that queen of clubs. And all of that meant that my two of hearts, that lovely little two of hearts, uh, took my 12th trick. Uh, honestly, again, this is, this is probably more complicated than you'd be able to execute at the table, but running your tricks makes good things happen. And, and my discarding that I did, I kept the ace, ten of diamonds until it was late. But you could, you could, probably find your way through that hand but just just know that 
running your tricks is gonna is gonna work out well. Well, I hope you enjoyed the hand, and I'll be back soon. Speak to you soon.